Tony Kerr with the sports at nine minutes to eight on BBC Radio Guernsey. Good morning from me, Jim Cathcart. Uh, now, I don't know whether you uh, have seen um, some green leaflets from a UK organisation that may have been pushed through your, your letterbox uh, of, of late or handed to you in the street. Basically, they're, they're calling um, on you to, to lobby deputies uh, not to vote for equal marriage when the issue comes before the states. Now, these leaflets apparently say that marriage should be between a man and a woman and warn that same-sex marriage in England has led to hostile attitudes towards people who don't agree with it. Uh, it goes on to cite a baking company that faces a, a fine for refusing to make a pro-equal marriage cake and interrogations of pupils in, in religious schools. Well, um, BBC Radio Guernsey did try to speak to someone from um, Coalition for Marriage, which we understand is the group behind this, which is based in, in London, uh, but despite our calls, no one uh, responded to our messages and we kept being forwarded to, to, to answer phones. Now, we, we've heard about this, actually, because um, there was a representative, we understand, in St Peterport last week, handing out leaflets to members of the public. And uh, Jamie Thompson was one of those people who was uh, in town and got one of those leaflets, and he's with me in the studio this morning. Good morning to you. Morning. Just tell me what happened then on that day. OK, so it was, uh, I was on my way to get my lunch. I went to Boots to get my lunch and there was this guy stood outside Lloyd's Bank handing out these leaflets in this green T-shirt. So I was kind of a bit early, world of my own, just took, politely took one of his leaflets and walked to the shop and then read it in the shop and um, I was like, well, this isn't right. It was kind of, um, you know, we're against gay marriage kind of thing. So And uh, the girls in, in Boots at the counter were talking about it and uh, I said, yeah, well, I'm going to go and give this back to him, obviously, and tell him that I don't agree with it and, and you know, ask him a couple of questions, which is what I did. So, And what, what was his reaction? Um, he was very polite and diplomatic. And uh, I said, you're obviously coming from a religious aspect, which I didn't want to go too far into, but um, gave him a couple of home truths and just said, well, you know, marriage isn't necessarily a religious thing. It's been around a lo longer than Christianity has anyway, so... Um, and he said, I'm not against gay marriage or a civil partnership, but the word marriage, uh, sorry, um, not against homosexuality is what I meant to say, but the word marriage shouldn't be used between uh, two people of the same sex. It's that sex. word marriage that, that, it's that, the word marriage that chap and, and, and the group yeah, have got an issue with. That he seemed to have an issue with. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, it's still, you're separating people there and it should be, this day and age, everyone should have equal rights to, regardless of their sexual orientation or, or any, any other, you know, racial or anything else. So. And Jamie, what was your interest in this? Because you're not a member of um, uh, Liberate, are no. you, the, the, the local um, charity? My stance on it is pretty much just, look, this isn't fair, this isn't right. I mean, it doesn't directly benefit me in any way to, to, to have gay marriage. I'm not gay, I'm never going to want to marry a man, but if two men want to marry or two women want to marry, then... I'm all for it. Well, you know, why does it... It's none of my business. So. You're just an average bloke on the street who yeah. got one of these leaflets and personally d d disagreed with it and went yeah, up and chatted definitely. to the guy. And it yeah. was nice to see quite a lot of support, actually, as a lady, while I was talking to this guy, came back and said... And she did a similar thing to me, sort of took it and walked off and then walked back and said, no, I don't in any way support what you're doing. Take this back. So, yeah. And I saw several people do that, so yeah. that, was, that was quite nice to see. Is that really. normally the sort of thing you would do? Um, yeah, I'm a little bit of a... <clears throat> You know, if I don't if I don't agree with something, I I'll stand up and say it. And sometimes it's got me in trouble, and sometimes it's, you know, people have a little chuckle over it or whatever. And yeah, in that that particular time, I thought, well, you know, handing out these leaflets is it it's hateful. And yeah, I just didn't agree with it. So. Mm -hmm. And and then you 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 actually uh, put a post up, didn't you, on social media about that? Yeah. And it was picked up by uh, Liberate. And with us in the studio uh, this morning, we've got Lauren and Ellie um, from Liberate. Good morning to you both. Thank you uh, for coming in. Ellie, first of all, uh, tell me what was your reaction when you heard this story from Jamie? Um, I, I didn't know Jamie. I just um, I happened to be a uh, day off and I thought I'd go and have a hunt around town and see if I could find these people and, and just find out what it was about because there was a lot of talk on social media. Um, I've got slightly flappy ears and I overheard Jamie chatting with some friends outside. Um, asked him about his post, which he'd had hundreds of likes on his post and hundreds of comments and we asked if we could share it via Liberate, um, which we did on our Facebook page and we got just an overwhelming support from the Guernsey public of how dare people come across, especially from somewhere that, where we've had a vote with the public, we've gone out to consultation, overwhelming majority of people saying, yes, we want this, 
and somebody else is coming in and interfering. People it's are interesting. not happy. W- would you have been less upset had it been someone from Guernsey who was actually on the street handing out leaflets? Is the issue that it's someone who's coming in interfering with, with Guernsey's business? I don't think... We're not actually upset that anybody was handing out leaflets. Everyone's allowed their opinion. Um, you know, that's completely not, not, not our issue. Um, what they've actually done is probably the complete opposite of what they intended to do and they've just created an outpouring of support for same-sex marriage so um personally we'd kind of would like to say a little bit of a thank you really yeah because as you say <laughs> everyone's entitled to their opinion mm-hmm. and if someone wants to hand out a, a leaflet on the street as long as they're not breaking any any laws by by doing that they're entitled to to voice their opinion and there will be people in guernsey's community who feel exactly the same way well i'm assuming that somebody from guernsey has invited them over um either that or they've just got excess funds from obviously when they campaigned in the uk and same-sex marriage has gone through and now they have some funds left over and they're not sure what to do and thought maybe we'll fly out to Guernsey see if we can yeah. uh, do something there. Lauren, what, what did you make of the reaction that this got? I loved the reaction. I mean, online, we were expecting a minority of negative comments, but really everyone was really supportive. There's some lovely comments on social media. Everybody's just been, whose business is it really? Why are they campaigning? Yeah. But everyone's been very positive. And, 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 and as far as you know, because we, we have made attempts to get in touch with Coalition for Marriage, did you know anything about the group beforehand or what they stood all. for? Until they handed out flyers, they didn't know they existed. Right. They and have posted I, about us. I, I do know of them. I mean, I'm uh, from the UK originally, um, and I know that they campaigned, obviously unsuccessfully, um, in the UK against uh, using the word marriage. But I think um, apparently you, you have to ask permission to hand out leaflets in town. Right. Um, and the, the usual um, sort of response is, it, as long as it's not offensive and nobody finds it offensive, then that's fine. I think uh, it's been proved that a lot of people have found this very offensive. Um, maybe not just just in the connotation of it, really. Um, people have taken offence to it, so I think the state should have taken a bit more notice or but, whoever gave permission uh, to it. But as you said just now, uh, this may actually have done you a bit of a favour in a way, you think? Massive favour. It saves us ha- having to do a big publicity thing this week about the vote next week um, everybody's talking about it anyway and everybody is talking about it in a positive way and it sounds like it should just fly through the states yeah and 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 and, and Don, just uh, briefly f- f- from you what what do you think this this has achieved um like ali said the opposite of what they intended before this not many people seemed to realize their vote was happening now there's hundreds of comments all supporting same-sex marriage and hoping it goes through you've got a printout of the comments there were there any people who were actually uh, supportive of the coalition for marriage and the, uh, and the leaflets on the social media i've seen not at all not one person right everybody was just well this is a guernsey matter why are they interfering and sort of whose business is it anyway who gets mm. married jamie you pleased that you you brought this 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 issue up yeah definitely yeah, as I said, it doesn't directly benefit me, but I'm all for it. I'm I'm totally behind Liberate and, and the gay marriage thing and, yeah, just equal white rights in general. So yeah, I think it's, yeah, did a good thing. OK, thank you all very much, Nick, for, for, for coming in and sharing that story with us. And, of course, as, as you know, it is going to be debated um, by the States back on the agenda again, isn't it? Thank you all very much indeed uh, for your time. Jamie, uh, Ellie and Lauren there.